In today's video, we're opening every legendary collection game board ever made. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video and we have all five Legendary Collection game boards, all the different ones like Legendary Collection Yugi's World, Joey's World, we have the original with all like the god cards and stuff like that in it. But before we open those, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this Ancient Guardians first edition booster box. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know your favorite Legendary Collection game board and your favorite pull from any of these. All right guys, let's get into this. But before we do, let's just talk a little bit about the Legendary Collection game board. So the original Legendary Collections were were not actually game boards. The first ones were like binders. This one and Legendary Collection 2 both had a binder edition. And then they came out with these Legendary Collection game board editions, which I much prefer these because I don't have to like, you know, move my camera around to show you guys everything. The game board actually fits on the camera, unlike the uh, the, the other thing, which is just insanely hard. It's a binder. You guys know how we do with binders. Inside all of these, there's like promos, there's different packs. Like this is the only one specifically that has like actual packs. That's not like specifically Legendary Collection mega packs. This one itself has like Legend of Blue Eyes and stuff like that. So we're going to save this one for last because this one actually maybe Yugi's World. This one will be towards the end. I think we're going to start off with Legendary Collection GX. This is another one that had the binder edition. It was the first edition print. This is unlimited. Some of these will be first edition because they came out first in the game boards rather than the binder. So we're going to open this one up first because I believe this is the cheapest one, except maybe Joey's cheaper. I don't know. Well, no, probably not because this is unlimited. So yeah, I think this is the cheapest one. So we're going to start off with Legendary Collection 2. I thought this would be fun to open up all of these in one video. We'll go kind of go through the prices of each. I think this is around $75 for this one. So inside we have the Ravael. Uh, there's tons of promos. And then we have five Legendary Collection 2 Mega Packs. And they give you um, a game board thing. They're like kind of hard though. They're like a little bit matte, but they're kind of hard. So it's you can't roll them up. They're not like rubber or anything, which is a lot better. All right, so we are going to do a Legendary Collection battle, basically. So we're going to see which one has the best value out of all five. So there's going to be a total up on the side. Keep in mind that some cost more than others, so they have an advantage but i want to know down below in the comments which one do you think will win okay let's go and keep in mind only one dollar cards count so if it's like 95 cents that does not count toward the tally so let's start off with this one we have a destiny hero doom lord very nice spark blaster elemental hero wild heart very cool card we have a destiny hero diamond dude so super rare all of these legendary collection mega packs have a super and ultra a secret and a rare inside so there's our super and there's our secret rare destiny draw as you can see these are unlimited very nice the shut and doji and the Bubble Shuffle. So very nice, Flare Neos and Rottweiler. A lot of these Legendary Collections also have commons worth quite a bit, so those could add up as well. Next pack, Legendary Collection 2. Let's see what we can pull. We have a Hero Mariner. We have a Thunder King Ryo. I believe that this one might be worth a little bit as well. I'm not really sure. Rainbow Neos, this is actually pretty big value. Yeah, I think this card's worth like six, seven bucks. That's a very good super rare. Evil Hero Malicious Edge. I believe this one's also pretty good, secret rare. We have a Crystal Tree. I still don't think this is good, even with all the hype for Crystal Beast, but not really sure. D time and then instant Neo Space. Very nice card trooper. Could be worth something as well from like a Edison format. Third pack. I think we're doing OK so far for Legendary Collection 2. Not too bad. Let's see what we can get. This is pr a pretty fun opening. I mean, I was been excited about this for a few weeks. Non fusion. We got the Cold Enchanter, the D Shield. Very nice. Anishi Sheehan's Chancellor. All right. A nice super rare. Phantom Sky Blaster. I feel like this used to be like 10 bucks and I don't really know if it is anymore more uh akasha this is a card that was i think this was in duel links for a little bit rosebud we have a d spirit and then we have a mizuki another really nice card uh for for zombies two packs to go so far we're doing decent oh yeah and also uh our promos i think this is around 10 bucks for this so that's going to be added to the value as well we have a clay man a judgment dragon i think this one's actually money i think that's a few bucks there crystal pair we have a rare value crystal beast back at it again gladiator beast toplamus not one of the best glads beasts but it is 2100 defense card blocker and hero flash very nice and a spark man pretty solid performance but we haven't pulled anything big out of the secret rare slot let's see if we can do that here we have a crystal beast amber mammoth a hero heart elemental hero aqua neos all these elemental heroes are at least a couple bucks usually uh destiny hero disc commander also a pretty decent one not bad elemental hero divine neos and a poison rose so okay not the best showing for gx but i wouldn't say it was too bad like i think we did pretty decent overall i would say they probably got 30 dollars in value something like that maybe a little bit less i'm gonna give a guess and you guys are gonna see how wrong i am based on like how well we did versus like the actual total all right next up we have legendary collection joey's world this is first edition because this only came out in first edition so that's pretty cool they probably will rewave it at some point in an unlimited i would expect so maybe the first editions will go up at that point but right now they are the only 
friendly you know version i think this is around 100 to 125 i can't really remember exactly let's see what we can pull uh the uh promo pack in here is actually worth something i think it's like 15 to 20 dollars for this so this is actually pretty valuable the blue flame swordsman's really cool all right so we have our pretty expensive uh pack there then we have five mega packs of joey's world i really like joey's world it's similar to yugi's world but uh, just a few differences it's kind of weird like they took a lot of the same secret rares and put them in here. I guess like the harpy stuff. And then of course there is more Joey stuff in here, but there's a lot of like similar repeats. We have a malevolent mech Goku in Fiendish engine. We've got the Giganto. I wonder if this is worth something. I think this is like an old school card that just got a reprint for the first time in here. So this could be worth something. Red Eye Zombie Dragon. We've got the Dunamis Dark Witch. I like how they put the the uh, the rare first in this one instead of like last like they did in a Legendary Collection 2. Dunamis Dark Witch. We got a Compulsory Evacuation Device. That's a good secret rare. Very good. And then a Pyramid Earl. This might be worth something as well being a zombie super rare. Very nice. Rival Jam and Kunai with Chain. What is this? All right, next pack of Joey's world. His world is Joey. Let's see. Can we pull something epic? We have ooh, a Zoa right at the front. Very cool card to pull. All right, nice common. We've got a barrel dragon. I think Zoa could be worth a little bit. Uh, chain destruction rare. We have a stray lambs. I don't think that's very good, but ooh, look how shiny and rainbow it is when you move that around. That's cool. And then a MST mystical space typhoon. That's nice. And an Elegant Egotist, so that's not really a bad pack there. Elegant Egotist is pretty decent, I think. Uh, Paladin of Cursed Dragon, Twin Barrel, and Metal, Metal Zoa and Zoa in the same pack. Those are pretty decent. All right, three packs to go. So far, pretty decent, I would say. I, I don't... Okay, because of the promo pack, that was like half plus of the value of the last one. Ooh, Chaos Trap Hole. Is this worth something? The original print is. I don't know if that one is or not. Uh, Ryu Koki. All right, very cool. We've got the, oh, I wonder if that, yeah, this doesn't have a lot of prints either. So maybe that one's good too. Priestess, Harpy Queen, uh, got a LARP print. So probably not as valuable anymore. And then a Gravekeeper Spy. I bet this one's pretty good because it's a secret rare version of a Gravekeeper card. So if you're playing Gravekeepers, this is such a good card, like old school. And then an Amazonist Paladin. Very nice. So seems like a pretty good opening so far. I feel like they might be getting close to uh, the Legendary Collection GX value already, which is pretty insane. It's gonna be, t gonna be tough to beat uh, Yugi's World, I think. I think Yugi's World's probably the favorite, but we'll see. We have a volcanic eruption. There is a lot of duds in Yugi's World, though. The Zoa added again. Okay, we got that. We got the Barrel Dragon. Beast of Talwar. Very cool. The Imperial Iron Wall has been money like in like OTS packs, so I think it is. And Silva, Warlord of Dark World with the Dark World stuff coming out. These cards all went up. That's really nice. And then an Amazonist Paladin again. Okay, that's kind of weird. Sweaty King Rex and Magic Jammer. I think I remember this being like two bucks for some reason. I don't know why that is, but maybe it doesn't have a lot of prints. All right, let's go. Final pack of Joey's World. So far done pretty good. Shadow Ghoul. Okay, Volcanic Eruption. Can we get a big card? We got the Gravekeeper's Visionary. Gravekeeper Stele. Saber Sword. This is not one of the secrets you want. Okay, that's kind of a dud. And then Super Rejuvenation. Okay, nice. Second Coin Toss. Maybe decent as well. Snake Hair and Regenerating Mummy. Okay, that's going to be close, I think, between uh, Joey and GX. So, so far, we are in an interesting battle here. I don't think anybody is a clear winner yet. Third up, I think it is time for Legendary Collection 5Ds. Let's go. Let's see what we can pull. This one actually came out in 2014. I didn't realize how late this actually came out. This is the only version of it, I think. And I think there's not a first edition of this or not an unlimited this is that we're about to find out i can't really remember i've only opened this a couple of times so i'm not super familiar these are first edition so i don't think they made an unlimited wave of this so that means that yugi's world is actually the only one with unlimited and first edition game board if i'm correct about that then we have the promo pack i really don't know what this one's worth i don't know if there's anything crazy in here so that could be a dud in terms of a promo pack compared to the other ones we have five packs of legendary collection five d's there's a lot of cards worth money in this they're like just random cards just like random comments and stuff so we'll see if we can pull some of that some of those 5d signer dragons what i was trying to say there okay got a demo wrong let's go they're like commons and they're worth something earthbound whirlwind blackwing armed wing i think this is a great card i think some of these like blackwing cards are like 20 dollars because they're like the highest rarity uh tuning wear secret rare okay and then chaos infinity super rare very nice so i think that that was actually a pretty decent pull we just got there that's not bad uh tgx3 100 and mara of the nordic alfar which is like isn't that like an ulti in one of the 5d sets i think it is next up we have blackwing boreas the sharp he's very sharp he's he's a blackwing raptor wing strike soup pay very nice and we have an ancient fairy dragon ultra rare that's very beautiful that looks really nice that's probably worth a little bit we've got a debunk that's a secret rare what <laughs> okay it's a secret rare apparently 
Shooting Star Dragon, super. Okay, we're getting some good pulls. I think these Signer Dragons are really good. TG Jet Falcon, Recipro Dragonfly, and Gus the Black, the Back. <laughs> Gus the wait wait where is he? I always forget about this guy. Gus the Back Blast. That's just a hilarious name. Three packs to go in Legendary Collection 5Ds. What can we pull? We have the Graceful Revival, Dark Verger, Nordic Relic, Mejingjord, TG Striker. I didn't know this is an Ultra in here. Okay, that's cool. And we have a Super Nimble Mega Hamster. This is probably the highest rarity of this card. That's actually really nice. I bet that's worth money. And then a Junk Archer. This is a really good card as well, because in the Duelist pack where it's ultra rare, it's like the best card. I bet that's worth a decent amount as well. So I think this might actually be in first place right now. This used to be like a $10 common, but it got a reprint, so probably not anymore. Two packs to go. Wow, this is a good 5Ds opening so far. All right, what do we got? We got the Raptor Wing Strike. I hope you guys like these older video, or not older. Well, it's older opening, but uh, longer videos, because there's going to be five of these. So I hope you guys are enjoying it. Odin's Eye. We got the Ancient Fairy. It comes as a common too, so you can get common and hollow. I didn't know that. That's really cool. Okay, a common ancient fairy, Exploder Dragon Wing. That's cool. The Zvaltalf of the Nordic Alfar. And the Unknown Synchron Seeker Rare. That's very nice. The Junk Destroyer, Earthbound Revival, and Evil Throne again. Man, I wish that was still money. And then the final pack. Wow, this seems to be a really good opening for 5Ds. There's nothing like insane, but like in terms of like, whoa, that's like a super you know insane card like a blue eyes secret rare but it's just a lot of cool stuff mech time blast we've got the offerings to the immortals the shield wing very nice advanced draw okay that's cool dual links it reminds me of that uh the glip near the fetters of the finger i don't think this is too crazy secret rare and then hundred eyes dragon super this is a jump promo and then a reboot so that's probably the worst pack of them all but i feel like well the problem is they had to make up for a kind of a worse promo pack might be close right now i'm really interested this the score is gonna be popping up but you guys will know i have no idea right now all right i think we're gonna do this one not last because yugi's world is like insanely expensive it's like a 500 dollars box so we're gonna open this one first this is more like 125 bucks so yeah this is pretty expensive opening just for like legendary collections you wouldn't think they're that crazy, but the Yugi's World stuff these days is just so expensive for getting first edition. So uh, yeah, we did pick up the first edition because somebody hit me up. It was like 450 or something like that. And I was like, you know, that's actually pretty good these days. So let's go with that. All right, let's go with these old school packs. This is pretty cool. You also, of course, get the God cards and like the Red Eyes, Blue Eyes, Dark Magician. I think these are still like $10 promo packs. So pretty solid there. And then we, of course, have all the classics let's start off with dark crisis because you know it's dark crisis it's the least exciting of the six it also has an extra pack six packs instead of five let's go let's do a little pack trick on these because you know there could be something insane we could also get a skill drain rare which is worth over 10 bucks Altar for Tribute, very nice. Gravity Axe Grawl. Dark Scorpion Gorg the Strong. Precious Cards from Beyond. Pandemonium, very nice. Frozen Soul. And wait, is it a rare? Oh, Death Fire Lamp. And we have an Acrobat Monkey. All right, next, let's do a Spell Ruler pack. Let's see if we can pull a Relinquished. Very nice. One, two, three, four. Or a Blue Eyes Tune would be pretty sick as well. We have a Chain Energy. Giant Total who feeds on flames. We got the slot machine, very nice. The toll. The Ryu Ran. Umiruka, very nice. The Whiptail Crow. We have a Senju of the Thousand Hands. And here we go. What will it be? It is Magical Labyrinth. Just a regular old common. And guess what, guys? The value on this one might be really bad. Like, if we don't pull anything, you know, we're just out of luck. There's not much we can do. Invasion of Chaos. And compared to these other, like, Legendary Collection Mega Packs, I mean, you know, the value is just not quite there. I mean, there's some old school stuff you can pull for big money, but we're not getting, like, super secret and ultra in every pack. You know what I mean? Coach Goblin, let's go. Energy Drain. Let me know if you believe in Legendary Collection 1 right now down in the comments. Let's see if we can pull something crazy to win it. Skullmark Ladybug, Earth Chant, Gigantis, Yellow Luster Shield, Anti-Aircraft Flower, we have a chain disappearance. Can we get a chaos monster? Let's go. We have, oh, a dimension fusion. And that's one of the best cards you could pull out of any of these packs. I think this might even be close to a $50 card last time I checked. 40 to 50, even unlimited, something like that. That honestly might have just like tied it up with the other ones. That is insane. That's like literally better than like, Demock and stuff like it's better than that. I think it's even better than CED. So this actually is the one that I never mentioned, but it's actually better than the chaos monsters, which is insane. All right. So one pull is all you need when you're the old school. You know, you just got to pull something epic. So we just did it. If we can pull like another decent card, like if we put like a Genzo here, I mean, could they win it all like the old school stuff? Is that what's that would actually be an insane upset? That would be awesome. Let's go. So even with this and the promo pack, I bet we're in first right now with the old school spike bot. We get the armored glass, the flying Kamikiri, numero dos, four star ladybug of 
Doom. Minor Goblin Official, very nice. The Flame Champion, a warrior protected by a flaming shield that malifies any attack. Malifies? Mul nullifies. We have a Bubonic Vermin. Let's go, Genzo. Gravity Bind. And we have a Respect play. Respect. That's that's all these legendary collections. Respect, man. Good pull. Good pull. Two packs to go. We'll save LOB for the end, even though Metal Raiders is my favorite set. And we have two posters behind me. We have the uh, OCG and the uh, English one for Metal Raiders posters. Let's go. We have the Pump King, the King of Ghosts. Battle Steer. We have the Mystic Lamp. We have the Launcher Spider. Soul Release. Castle of Dark Illusions. 920 attack, 1930 defense. Very nice. Giga Tech Wolf. Okay, pretty cool. Little Chimera. Can we pull something epic? Let's go. Lava Battle Guard. All right, just a Lava Battle Guard. So we are now one for five on our packs. We pulled an amazing Ultra, though. Let's see if LOB can really put us over the top. By us, I mean Legendary Collection 1. You guys know we like all, you know, the old school stuff. So let's see. We have a Wasteland. Steel Gregado Numero Uno. We have the Fire Grass. Ray and Tempadura. Inotama Soul. Umi. Mammoth Graveyard. Cherubin the Fire Knight. And we have a monster egg. Okay. All right. So we really only got one pull out of the entire thing. And these two might just win it. I mean, that's pretty solid value. Like maybe like 50, 60 bucks right there. Pretty insane. Now we're on to the final legendary collection. The final legendary collection is Yugi's World. There's a little window right here. That's how you know it's first edition. If this was not a real card, not in a window, that would be unlimited. Also, another way you can tell, guys, if you didn't know, if you look at these like mini packs right here, this is a good way to do it for Kaiba. I just realized I didn't get a Kaiba legendary collection. Oh no, I forgot one. We forgot about Kaiba. Okay, well, we're doing this video where every legendary collection except one. Uh, I wonder if how many of you guys noticed that. <laughs> All right, well, let's just keep going. Legendary collection, Yugi's World. I mean, I don't have a Kaiba, so this is just gotta, we just gotta go without it. All right. All but Kaiba. Maybe we'll do a redemption one day and actually f remember the Kaiba. That's hilarious. I didn't, re I was gonna post this and not remember. Let's see what we have. So inside of this, there is a little window for your Silvore Calcos, which is really cool. There's a promo pack. I don't know what this one's worth. Probably something decent with Necrofear. And then there are, is there five or six packs? I think it's five packs. Yeah, five packs of Legendary Question Yugi's World. Very expensive packs these days. All right, so uh, this is a little awkward now that I forgot Kaiba, but that's okay. Let's just keep going. We have Legendary Collection at Yugi's World. Can we pull the Dark Magician Girl, which is worth like hundreds of dollars now in Secret Rare, which is pretty cool. Dark Free, let's, oh, we got a Ruxley Special. Sorcerer of Dark Magic. I think Silent Magician level eight might be decent. We have a Toon Gemini Elf upside down. Then we have a Needle Worm. That's pretty nice. Okay, Needle Worm Ultra Rare. Very cool. We'll take that. And then Exchange with the Raigeki and the Exodia on it. Very cool. Morphing Jar Numero Dose. Level up pretty decent and Guardian Elma. Level up used to be money. I don't know if it still is. Four packs to go. I know these are like, I think these are like $100 for one pack. It's maybe even more than that. It's insane for uh, Yugi's World First Edition. Rod of Silence Chaos. Very nice. Dark Master Zork himself. We've got Toon Defense. Okay, last time the next one was not upside down. We're going to do this. Necro Valley. Very good. That's actually a good card. Then we have Secret Rare. Come on, Dark Magician Girl. Pyramid Turtles. This is like one of the duds, I would say, but it's at least usable in like an old school deck, so pretty cool. Shift, okay, there's a little dot on that. Interesting, Shift, super rare. So far, okay, mind you, okay, been printed a million times recently, but honestly, right now, they're not really like making a great push or Yugi's World, so maybe the old schools might win this. All right, Legendary Collection, Yugi's World. I still can't believe I forgot Kaiba. It's like the newest one, isn't it? I think Kaiba's the newest one. It came after, but they didn't call it five. They just called it... Kaiba. I don't know. Confusing. All right. Swift Sky, the Fierce Knight. We have a Guardian Axe Grarl. Very cool. The Horus Servant. Black Illusion Ritual. This one wasn't upside down. What does that mean? Is it going to be the DMG? Let's go. The Summoner Monk. Oh, it's the next one. It would have to be the next one. Okay. Summoner Monk. Pretty decent. And a Black Horn of Heaven. That's not great either. And then a Three-Legged Zombie. This is pretty cool because this is a McDonald's pack card that got a hollow. You'd love to see that. It's really cool. A pair of friendly skeletons, lean and fat, that travel with extreme difficulty. I never noticed there's another skeleton. I thought this was one dude. <laughs> this is an S2. How did I just notice this? First time ever. My manga. Very nice. I always thought this was just one big old guy. That is hilarious. I never have looked at that card closely, apparently. I even used to have one, but apparently I didn't look that close. All right. Fourth pack for Yugi's World. This is looking a little sketch. We have a Guardian Trice, a Draining Shield. Nice. We have a Mystic Box, Catapult Turtle. Very nice. And a Green Gadget. Pretty cool version. And will it be the Secret Rare DMG? 
Big Shield Gardena's a secret in here? Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, Big Shield Gardena. And then a Boganian. Boganian's a super? Why is Boganian a super? That's so weird. Okay, all right. Final pack. Okay, not great for Yugi's World. I think Yugi's World might lose. It might get like last. It's not looking good right now. Final pack. Can we get that DMG Dark Paladin Exodia head? Something like that. Giant Soldier of Stone. We got a Solemn Morning. That's probably money. The DD Warrior Lady. That might be decent as well. We have an Ultra coming up. It is... Oh, a Mechanical Chaser. So we got Needleworm and Mechanical Chaser. That's pretty cool. Some TP Ultras and... Graceful Charity. Okay, this is a big pull because this doesn't really have a clear high rarity winner when it comes to like old school formats like GOAT. Like there's like a couple of different options, but this is one of the coolest looking ones, I think. Secret Rare Graceful Charity First Edition. I bet this is big money. Very nice. Valkyrie and the Magna Warrior. Arm Dragon level seven. Okay, that definitely made a big difference there. So the Graceful Charity really saving the Yugi's world and gonna make it really close. I'm really excited to see what the totals are gonna be for this because even though we forgot Kaiba, I think it's gonna be interesting. All right, here is what the final tally is for all of them. It's, it's gotta be extremely close, I think. I, I'm gonna look and it's gonna be like somebody won by like $50 or something, but very interesting. I had a lot of fun doing this video. If you guys enjoyed it, uh, let me know if we should do another one where we actually don't forget about Kaiba. Sorry, Kaiba, I didn't really mean to disrespect you like that. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to Choice333, Nightshade Gaming YT, Hayden Jameson, Squirtle, Hoppus, Flexi Boy, Dizzy, Ernesto Deanda, Puffins of Doom, TCG Trust of Cards, JT Cho, Tomato Juice, Daxter, Tone Fo Show, and then a side show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, John Nolan, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Seth Fisher, Stanley, Thomas McLean, and Tone Z. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace forgot about legendary collection guy but oh my gosh man i was like five seems kind of low